Hey there, Louis Akbaus here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I am going to be answering the question, can my employer view my Microsoft Teams chat history? Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. Lastly, if you like my content and you find it helpful and you wanna support me as a creator, consider becoming a channel member. You can learn all about all the awesome perks that are included in my channel membership by clicking that join button below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in this video, I'm obviously doing something different and I'm here to talk about, can your employer view your Microsoft Teams chat history? Now, the reason that I'm making this video is I saw something on the news the other day that was talking about a social media post that went viral proclaiming that employers, organizations can view your Microsoft Teams chat history. Now, I'm gonna start off by just answering the question, can your employer view your Microsoft Teams chat history? And the answer is yes, they totally can, but this shouldn't come as a surprise to you. Prior to the use of digital collaboration tools like Microsoft Teams, Slack, whatever, organizations relied on email and as long as they've used email, they've also been able to go through your email provided that they have a reason to do so. And that's really the important qualifier. Organizations don't just have people sitting around looking through your email, through your Teams messages, through your Slack messages, et cetera. Typically, organizations have to have a justified reason why they would be going through an employee's chat history or their email and it tends to be really serious reasons or allegations as to why they might do that now some examples might include unethical behavior uh, whistleblower complaints things like harassment etc so those are all pretty serious reasons why your employer might be going through your chat now many organizations typically have really strict processes and controls over the capabilities of going through individuals' emails, chat messages, et cetera. Typically there has to be a request that comes from someone with some authority that is reviewed and approved before your IT department extracts any information from your email or from your chat. Now to add further assurances, as we're gonna see in a minute, the capabilities that allow individuals to look through your chat history are a little more nuanced and complicated than just clicking into Louis' inbox or clicking into Louis' chat and looking through all of his content. You actually have to go into a dedicated app and you have to build out queries to look for some specific information. Now, access to that module, again, is typically restricted to very few people in an organization and it tends to be subject to audit to make sure that that kind of capability is not being misused. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's have a look at how to search through someone's chat history so that you can understand the context behind that capability. All right, now, in order for an employer or an organization to review an employee's activity, they would need to come into this portal, which is called the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. Now, you can see here the description that this portal is intended for compliance purposes. So this is where organizations protect information stored in their Microsoft environment, manage data life cycles, put in safeguards around data, et cetera. Now, if someone was going to look through your Microsoft Teams chat, what they would be doing here is they would be conducting a content search. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new search here. So I'm gonna give this a name. And I'm gonna click next. And then this page is where your employer would specify where they want to search for specific activity, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. Now you can see here, exchange mailboxes. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this on. By toggling this on, this means that when I go ahead and I look for a user's activity in Teams, I'm also gonna be able to look through their email content as well. Now you can see here, an employer could also search through SharePoint sites. So again, if they wanna look for specific activity, they could do that through email, Teams, and SharePoint sites. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and click Choose Users. And essentially what I can do here is I can now specify that when I build this search, 
I want it to be directed at a particular user. So they could do this at a user level or an active directory group, a Microsoft team, a specific SharePoint site, et cetera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And this is a really important page. Essentially what this page is, is it is a search builder. So that is what I've been stressing throughout this tutorial is that when your employer or an organization is trying to look through an employee or a user's activity, they're not able to just pull up your instance of Microsoft Teams and just kind of peruse through your chats or your inbox. They actually have to build out queries that will retrieve some specific piece of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this add condition dropdown. And essentially what this is, is this brings up a list of different attributes that could be used to help build a query to look for some specific information. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on keywords. Essentially what this does is this allows for the entry of specific words that again, your organization might be looking for. So if I throw reports and report in here, this is going to say, hey, Compliance Portal, please search Louis Ecobellis' activity in Microsoft Teams, in Outlook, and specifically look for any content that has the words reports or report. Now, your employer could also add additional conditions like date. So again, if they were looking for some specific piece of information, they could specify date ranges in which that content that featured these words was created. So again, it's really just to highlight that it's not as simple as just pulling up your team's instance and being able to kind of snoop through your activity. They have the ability to kind of build out specific queries when they're looking for some specific piece of information. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna delete the date parameter and I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And now I'll click submit. And you can see here that this search was created. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into the search and you can see here that the search is complete and that there were 284 items that matched that specific query that was built. Now, again, if your employer wants to actually browse through those items, they have a few different options. The easy way would be to click review sample and you can see here that the results have been returned and this is going to display everything emails, chat messages, channel posts. So you can see that this search even picked up generic emails that were sent from Microsoft Azure to the user that we selected. Now, if I scroll down, you're gonna actually see some chat messages. So you can see review this report ASAP. And this was a Teams message. Now you can see it almost displays like an email. Now I'll scroll down here and you can see even files that were shared again just by clicking on the item so you can see that i shared a file here and again this is teams activity but it's sort of displayed in a email type view and if i scroll down again you can just see all of the activity for that specific user where there's some sort of match on those keywords uh, reports and or reports uh, and you can see here that it even picks up tasks that were created in Microsoft Planner. So again, this is just to give you an idea of what it looks like when your employer tries to search through your team's chat history. It is not as simple as just pulling up your instance of Teams and again, looking through all of your content. They would have to build out very specific targeted searches and then navigate through this view. Now, of course, they could just download these results in bulk if they wanted to, but again, it's just to demonstrate that it is a much more complex process. So that's it. In this video, I answered the question of, can your employer look at your Microsoft Teams chat history? We also talked a bit about email and other activity in Teams. And again, yes, your employer can do it, but they likely will not do it unless they have some reason to. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. I'm Louis Acobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.